So here we are looking at a Google Earth image of Lane, and I'm showing you how to access the soil web as a layer. So you can see over on this side, there's just a layer pre-installed, which you've seen how to do in another recording. So I'm going to press it, and it takes a minute, and all of a sudden you have a bunch of soil layers pop up and you can see this is straight out of the soil survey manuals you can have it in the paper version but the interesting part about using this for example if we want to look at this area up around the outdoor classroom and you can see if you get close you're going to pop the number it'll sort of bounce up and get a little bit larger and if I press that you see this series of different soils. Now this is a special one, it's a complex, which means it's it's uh, a grouping of three different types of soils which they can't really pick out and find detail from the aerial photo, so it really should be three different mixes in here, but at the scale of the survey it didn't make sense to map them out. But let's take a look at the hazel air. It actually allows you to directly hot link takes a minute and boom you notice this is a sort of linking you may have not may or may not have seen it in Google Earth but you can go back directly to where you were but this tells you everything you need to know on a very basic level about the um, classification of the soil by the US Soil Survey standard. So it's a mollusol, which you can then click through, go down. It will also, if you scroll, give you information about the geomorphic position. So this is a type of soil that is normally found on hills. Let's sort of follow where I'm putting the cursor. It also gives you things like from the top down what are the percentages normally for organic matter, clay, sand, a lot of other measures uh, about the soil properties. So you can then immediately go back. So this is a neat tool to begin to explore what sort of soils they there might be in an area you're going to and what you can do.